What's up, YouTube? Smoke Alarm Person here, and I'll be showing you this Family Guard FG200. No, not Family Guard FG200. Let the back explain. BRK, it's still FG200, so it's a BRK FG200. Yeah, I'm going to be talking about it more, but I may have time to test it in this video. So, there we go. It's open. I'm running a Duracell 9 volt something something. Let's see when it expires. December 2020. I'm going to test, I'm not going to test it yet, this one actually has a red lot LED in it, unlike the FG200 version, the Family Guard version of this alarm, that is so going to get me confused, I'll pop this one open, unlike this one that don't have it, I think I got the bad one. Anyhow, unlike that alarm, this one has it. I still don't know what that's for. Sensor, horn, everything you need for an ionization smoke alarm. It's made in Mexico. Focus! Twenty eighteen, November twenty seventh. Eh, should I test it with the cover open first or the cover shut? Eh, cover shut. I'm not doing a smoke test in this video, but next video I make about this one, I will. <laughs> and let's do it with the cover open. I did not plan to test this alarm today, so here it is, open, and one thing I absolutely can't stand is how it has like the two metal things sticking up instead of battery things, like the, like, one of my favorite alarms. It is an actual family guard. See there how it has actual terminals? Oh, you can't see it too well. Oh. For the heck of it. So, bye.